folding your paper like this and if you're drafting directly on your fabric you'll be folding your fabric in the same way also then you draw you rule a guideline which should be one inches this is going to be the center front then you insert your horizontal measurements you'll be adding half half to the measurement my apex which is 11 and a half i'll be making it 12 my under bust which is 15 i'll be making it 15 and a half my weight which is 17 and a half i'll be making it 18 then my blouse length is 24 i'll be marking that also with two inches sewing allowance then you extend the line inserting the the circumference measurements First, you, you, you will be inserting two measurements at this upper part, which is standard at first. You mark three inches. That's the width of the neckline, which is standard three inches. Then you extend it to eight inches, which is also standard. The, the shoulder measurement. Then from this point, from this shoulder point, you mark one inches down which is also standard then you connect to the neck measurements now from the shoulder line you mark nine inches downward which is standard if you want to get the exact measurements for this armhole line this is armhole line if you want to get the exact measurement for it, you divide your bust by six, then you add half inches to it. That is how to get it accurately. If you don't want to use the standard measurement, but nine is the standard measurement, then you rule it. That now become our shared measurement, which they also call upper bust. Then you rule the line down from your shoulder line to the chest line i'll be taking picture of this i'll be labeling it and taking picture of it so that i will send it everybody will have clearer view of it chest line boss boss Bo. Bo, my dada. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Now let's insert our our horizontal measurement. My bust is forty. You you divide all your horizontal measurements. That is all your circumference measurements. You divide it by four. My bust, which is forty, divided by four. It's going to be 10 you mark the 10 then it is advisable to put half an inch ease to all the measurements so i will be marking 10 and a half because i've put half an inch of ease you don't need the the bust point measurement you don't need to insert anything on the bust line and on the bust point line then on the under bust line you don't need to insert anything then you go to your waist my waist is 32 divided by 4 is 8 plus half an inch is to give me eight and a half then my is is 40 divided by 4 which is 10 plus half an inch is that will give me 10 and a half then on your waist 
we are going to be adding one inch that one inch is going to be for our dart because this is a basic body slipper wear which you'll be using to do any size wherever you want then we'll be using this body slipper for other measurements for other styles too we'll be using it to draft a uh, princess dart bustier dart and the likes so i'll be adding one inch to my waistline which is for the basic dart then you connect Then my armhole, let's go back to the armhole. My armhole, which is, uh, I've, I've put nine, that is the standard measurement you can determine yours. I've said how to determine yours earlier. So now from the shoulder drop, that is from, you minus this one inches, from this line down to your chest line, you get what it is now. For me, it's eight inches then you now mark the midpoint which is four inches then on this midpoint line you'll be coming in by three quarter inch this is also a standard then from this midpoint you connect it back to the shoulder line then you use your french cuff to do to connect it to your waist and to your chest line pardon my mistake please like this then you'll be having something like this then all these our measurements you'll be adding two two inches sewing allowance to them if you're drafting directly on your fabric it is very very important that is our sewing allowance You'll be adding two two inches to them that's our sewing allowance when you connect it now our body sloper is ready now i'll be showing you how to put the dart okay now for our dart we will be needing our apex to apex measurement i forgot to to measure that while i was doing the measurement earlier you just place your tape measure on your nipple to the other nipple just like this for me it's eight inches so that is how to measure apex to apex uh, measurement then you now divide the apex measurement because our, our fabric our paper is folded into two so you now divide it into two which is four inches then you now had half an inch sewing allowance if you are drafting directly on your clothes so from the both points you measure 4.5 inches four and a half then you roll it you roll the line down you roll the line down then on your waistline from the line you you have you will take half an inch that on both sides if you remember earlier we added one inches to the waist measurement then from the both point measurements you come down by one inch that is where the dart will stop then on the hip line you come up by two inches that is where the dart will stop also then you connect connect it like this i hope we are following like this then like this This is the front pattern. Yeah. 
can you see that our body flopper is almost ready then you are going to finish you are going to connect this line to the sewing allowance line if you want it flare you can do it like this or if you want it straight you can do that also it depends on yours it depends totally on you you just finish it then from this point you can place your french curve on it and get a curve line just like this then you cut our body slipper is ready so you now be using this to draft the back the back uh, pattern which is not difficult the back for the back handful just place your french curve you don't need to come inside for the, the back pattern you just you just curve it half like this so this is the back handle and this is the front handle then you can decide any neck you want the depth of any neck you want so i'll be doing six inches across like this and put your french curve 